I think there's been an interesting debate in the papers recently about whose job is it to care. Is it the job of the state or is it the job of family and friend carers and the individual? And I think that's an interesting debate and it's probably the combination of the two that make the best care arrangements. So, but if you look at it, 73% of carers feel that they're not recognised and they're not supported. So I think we need to do more to actually recognise the role that carers contribute. Likewise, the professionals who are involved in that circle of care can also help support and it's the relationships within that circle of care that are key. Listen to us, because at the end of the day we are the professionals in our caring role because we know more than anyone about the people that we're caring for. Carers are the bedrock of our society and the contribution they make to the economy is huge. It's 132 billion, yet carers don't feel recognised for that contribution. So I think it is up to everybody to make carers their business, to think carer. I definitely would have gone a bit loopy if I hadn't have been put in contact with them. After mum had her accident, it was just like, what do I do? Who do I turn to? I need help. Even just have a chat because having carer support there and speaking to other people my age that were carers as well in similar situations was just like oh this is great they actually get it. You do start blaming yourself for stuff you worry that you're over worrying or that you're being too much and you're not doing a thing or you hate yourself for hating your own mother sometimes and you go in there and you say I just can't deal with it and the carer support will actually just say yes that's normal don't worry by the way, have you done this? We can help you, we can give you a break if you need it. Now the young carers have stepped in, I've got, I go out more, I've got more friends, and kind of, I've got more confidence in myself. They've got me into drama, and especially me going back to school. Yeah, they've done a lot. I don't think Dixie realises how much she does actually do. Um, they say it's not generally kind of what she does physically, um, and that's why a lot of people don't see her as a carer or think the children are caring. It's just some relief to mum to know there is some support there and making sure someone's thinking about her and just playing with her sisters to keep them away from mum hanging around her feet. Help them with their homework, play with them when they have no one to play with. Yeah, especially the youngest. I like playing with her because she likes Peppa Pig and Minnie Mouse. People don't have that sign on their head. They don't say, I'm a carer, because actually they don't necessarily need to share it. But if you look at it in terms of employers, they can make a significant difference and they can help create an environment where someone can continue to, to work and care, so have a life alongside caring, or they can create an environment where that's not possible. It's just about thinking, what is the long-term consequences and how can I support that person? It's been quite a journey. I was in a full-time caring role. Um, and I was caring for two people um, and at the time it was um, being young as well. I've been doing it for quite a few, quite a few years, there's a lot of pressures on me. And when I first met our, our support worker, she was there to provide me with whether it was emotional support or practical support at the time. Without that support and help, I wouldn't be where I am today. One in nine employees are carers. That's a significant amount of people in your workforce, particularly if you're a large employer. Therefore, you need to have carer-friendly policies. And if people feel valued and they feel supported, they will actually give you so much more back in return because they know that somebody actually, if you like, is looking out for them. And I think that's hugely important. You need to feel valued as an employee. We need to build carer-friendly communities and that means that we need people in the workplace, in GP surgeries, in hospitals, who may be a carer friends and just look out for carers, make sure the carer message is within the community they're working in or they're living in and make sure that we're advocating for carers so that they're listened to and valued. Think carer. Think carer. Think carer. Think carer. Think carer. Think carer. Think carer.